Hey, hey, puppies! It's Ninja the Barn Builder here. Yep, for a new skin as well. Okay, as well. Yep, I've created this thing before, and I'm. Look, my match. Looks like I have fancy eyebrows, but I'm sorry, I think it's my hair. Isn't it? Yeah, my voice. But I have like an F on top of my hair. That's weird. Is that? Is that like? Oh, you can't see the top. That's weird. I'm just having my hair to cover my hair. But anyway, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm still getting skin. So, I start this episode off with very loud music, which I forgot to turn down. I start this episode off with in front of this absolutely beautiful and amazing thing. Well, not necessarily the crop farm, but just all this. I extend path, got the path going all the way over to there, path going over to here to the melons. Yep, I also plant a tree there. That's, I'm trying to get that tree to grow, but it won't. <laughs> Time. Anyway, I've ah, also got some of this, got some more melon slices, got some melons. Oh, very good. Love the fun. Absolutely adore it. So, uh, so, to start this episode off, we are going to... Sorry, in today's episode, we are going to be going exploring. Very, very fun. Very, very fun. Screw with me. Okay. Oh, shit. Sure. I really do look angry. If you look at one, if you look at the one half of my face, like, like one half of my face saying the other half of my face is just curious. I'm just, I'm just, just to turn one off this episode. That looks better. It's a bit on, but the hair thing, I don't know, it's like meant to be a hair clip. Wait a second, is it all wet? Or something? <laughs> Sorry, anyway. <coughs> For today's episode, we shall be exploring the first time we'll be going exploring a lot in the series I'm hoping to do a whole lot of exploring uh, so we're going to be doing a very basic exploration trip and then very soon we'll be getting ourselves a horse a jetty to launch your boats off yeah exploration is going to be a huge thing a huge part of this world exploration is uh, I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna say it's a necessary part of Minecraft survival it is an amazing and super fun thing to do and shoot, I accidentally just removed that one of the You know what? I need a new iron pickaxe. Should we get this? Yeah. So, first things first, I'm gonna craft a new iron pickaxe. Hey, shush. You, shush. Yep, yep, all you other things, shush as well. So, this is a compass. Compasses are very useful I uh, items. When you just shush, if you have a if you have a compass, now this compass is pointing that way. Right. Now, if we look here, that <laughs> see here facing, surprisingly that is north. But if I was, but it's not actually trying to face north. What it is facing is back towards our world spawn point, the original block when we loaded up the world that we were standing, on, which uh, is in that direction. Yeah, it's like right over there, what, what the compass is pointing to. So. Compasses are very useful, we'll probably be crafting two of them because we're really close to our base. But there's something else that compasses are very useful for, and already talked to us a little bit about it. Now, for that, we're going to have to use shunken. Shunken can be used to craft sugar, it can also be used to make pa whoops, paper. I'm just going to shift click so I can craft as many as I can, and then we have 62 paper and one shunken. So now we can craft an Empty map. Bam. Now what I'm actually gonna do is shush. That's just talking about the paper. Oops. Hey, actually we need that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. USBs unlocked. You told me. You totally reminded me of something. Um. Anyway. So first off, let's talk exploration supplies. What do you need? Well, you're gonna want some wood. Probably some a lot of tools. Maybe a compass. Lots of food. Uh, we're also going to need a bed, so we're going to take our orange bed with us. Um, probably a compass, and almost definitely a map. Let me just quickly I'm grab the shoe can. Right uh, oh, that tree is finally growing. Potatoes! These potatoes are growing really slowly, it's kind of weird. But anyway. So, maps are a very interesting item in Minecraft. Currently, this is an empty map, it's pretty useless to us. Not really. Because if I was to right click with this map, 
wow. You get this filled in map. Almost entirely filled in map. Which tells, which just shows off everything. Oh, dang it, it doesn't have that on it. That's a shame. Uh, what well, does have this area? I thought that actually was it. But that weird brown dot, that's just all the pods off from the, from the trees over here. Yeah, also, I'm going to actually turn the little thing here, view the bobbing, so it makes like you like bob up and down and walk. Very realistic, but it's also really hard when you're looking at a map. Yep, that's what that is. Anyway. So, this current map isn't very useful for exploration. What it shows us right now is, well, everything we've already seen. It's not actually going to show us anything new. But if I was... So what we need to do is make this map show more of an area. How do we do that? Well, you can do that with a clever little block called the cartography table. You know, cartography, making maps, yep, all that stuff. That's what that's all about. A cartography table is crafted similarly to a... Hang on, I'm not working on camera. I may am. I'm just kind of like... You know. uh, why can't I interact with... Oh, I think it's just lagging. Um... Four planks of any type and two paper gives you one cartography table. It's a beautiful, beautiful block. Beautiful block. Now if I was to take this map and put it in this slot, and then put another piece of paper in this slot, as you can see, it zooms out. And if I take it out and put it there, the map's more zoomed out. So now you can see that farm over there. But still, it's not very zoomed out enough. So if we can zoom it out one more time. I zoomed out now. Ooh, very zoomed out. If I do this, uh, yep, I'm pretty sure. Yep, now it's showing a big X there, and that means that it's zoomed out as far as it can go. And this is the maximum zoom that it has. So all this area here, this is all unexplored territory. So we've never gone there with the map. Now we've never actually gone there at all, but it's possible that you could have gone there just without a map. Then there's this little white icon there. What's this little white dot thing? Well, that is us. It looks in the direction that we are facing. See, we're facing that way. And so that means that if we were to start... Okay, sorry. Hang on a second. <laughs> sorry, guys. Hello. If we were to start walking in this direction, then it would start moving in this direction. It will curse. We're going to call it a curse today. And if we start walking towards the pigs, you can see uh, not the pigs, but just every animal possible in Minecraft, basically. Then it starts filling more in. So, how? So what we see on a map is related to what blocks there are. So, for example, you can see. Oops, that's the wrong one. You have this little grass here. Mm -hmm. That's because of all the glass. Sorry. So you see the little lime color. The blue color, that's water. All these things are dark green, that's like leaf blocks and nature related blocks, you know. Let's go take this with us actually. Uh, just need the iron. Let's do this right now. So, I'm just gonna, we're gonna sleep in bed. So, what we're gonna do now is, now I was planning going off in that direction. It should be possible, because today I want to follow this river. Now, we don't have a whole lot of food, we don't have a great food supply. I mean, we do have quite a bit of food, but we don't have a great food supply. And walking around and running actually takes up hunger and energy, and then we need to eat more. Now, the cool thing about going in a boat, other than the fact that it's super fast, if you're using it on water, it... <coughs> it... Uh, never uses up your hunger actually rowing a boat. Not very realistic because you would think that rowing a boat would be more tiring than than just walking around. But eh, this is my part. We can punch trees down. So and also the trees float after you punch them. What we're gonna do? What you do? We're gonna forget our bed. We are definitely not gonna forget the bed. The bed is very useful for skipping the night. Now, theoretically, if you're a really late game, you don't need, necessarily need to bring a bed. Uh, because now I've broken this bed, if we were to uh, lose all of our health and have to respawn somewhere, it would actually be way back where the compass points to instead of at our base because we just kind of destroyed our bed, so no more respawn point. But that's still good because nothing bad's going to happen. Definitely nothing bad's going to happen. Hello, Salmon. Please get out of the way. So, yeah, this is where we're going to have that cool jetty. That's 
Right now, we're just going to explore into uncharted territories. And you don't necessarily have to bring a map. Hello, donkey. There's a little donkey right there. You don't necessarily have to bring a map when you go exploring, but I would highly recommend it. And Wait, do I have machines? Yes, I do. So, what I'm actually going to do right now is see some sheep. Now, I'm going to break my star base. Right. Hello, donkey. Uh, what I'm going to do is get my shears out and I'm going to whack them on the way. Hang on, why is it not? Sorry sheep, I need to collect that wool. Now I've got two wool. And as you can see there, he just re grew his wool really quickly because he ate the grass. That's how they grow their wool in Minecraft. So, uh, shearing the sheep is probably a good idea because wool can be very useful when you're going to go as small enough. Because you can actually craft a block called a banner with it, and then you can use the banner on a map and make a cool marker so you're able to easily remember where something cool you found. Only use the cap. And also, wood is very cool and important, so. There is that bee that we've been seeing off the door. I have been. It's really hard to show you. But there it is. There it is. The bee, the bee, the bee. Hello, bee. Oh, look, it's pollinating. It's doing its little dance. Spinning around on the flower, and then it should collect pollen. Yes, it has. <gasps> now it's got pollen particles. That means that it's still attached to a bee nest. We've got the chickens out, so you can break a bird, uh, boat. Sorry, by hitting it. You could hit it with your fist, but it takes ages. So hitting it with a tool is a good idea. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh yes. There it is. This is a bee nest, not a beehive, a bee nest, because it's natural, and it's full of honey. We'll have to be working more with bees. Very soon, hope to get them. Yes, now. In the distance, I can see a turtle. That's very awesome. Off the way over there, you can see. I zoom in. There you go, there's a turtle. But it appears the river kind of ends. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to be a turtle, because turtles only. You can only find turtles on warm beaches. And. Yeah, warm is not what I'd call a frozen iceberg filled ocean. <laughs> so, I don't know. Mm -hmm. here. so, yeah, I'm hoping just to get a little bit of exploration done. Pretty much as much as I can do. So, yeah, we were following a river, and occasionally the rivers, um, <coughs> sorry, occasionally the rivers run out, like, they become dry basically. So we've got more of a target biome, which is the biome we started in. We can see something very really cool over there. It's a brand new flower. Brand new to us. But right there's two blocks tall and can also be used for uh, finding your way around. It is a sunflower. So it can also be used to make a lot of yellow dye. And, oh, it looks like we have a birch forest biome over there. Not a very interesting biome, but it does have... Well, if you're looking for a lot of birch trees, what happened to that tree? That's weird, that tree has half of its leaves removed. That happens occasionally these days. Oh, sheep, sheep, give me a wall. And this is completely painless and... Ah, oh, I got it. Got him. And by got him, I don't mean I hurt him, I mean that I, I shoot his wool in time for him to weep off. Yeah, this is a good, it's way easier in um, Minecraft than it's in real life. That's pretty much everything is. I think everything is here. Squid, please, no. And the river has run run dry. Now one structure, now we're looking mainly for structures today, because structures are really cool. One structure I'd like to find would be a village. Oh boy, that's not a village, but it's a very cool structure. It's like the opposite of a village. It's a pillager outpost, hello people. But pillager outpost is very, very dangerous. It's full of, you know, remember the pillager patrol that came through with those guys with the crossbows? Yeah. There's like an infinite amount of them there. That place is so deadly. We're not going to go anywhere near it. But it can be very useful. It does have some cool loot in it. But no, actually, scratch that. It has average loot. Very average. Not worth the loot. 
but yeah, you could make a cool farm out of that, but yeah. That's very interesting. <laughs> so anyway, a village is something I really like to find. Because a village has village mobs. Not pillagers, villagers. Really hard to say. <laughs> anyway, um that's just some flowers. And villager mobs are probably way more useful than pillager mobs, and they're basically just awesome. They're really useful. Really nice. You can trade with them and all sorts of things. They have kind of have their own little currency. They're like the most intelligent lines of code you've ever seen. Except no, they're actually really, really annoying really sometimes. Chickens. I honestly don't know if we've ever encountered chickens before. Not very pretty. There's more tiger bone in here. See, I'd like to completely fill in this map. That would be a really cool goal of mine. Because I am planning... Now, while exploring and finding a useful rule, why don't I go over some of the cool ideas I have for this world in the future. Now, I'm planning to have multiple bases. Multiple areas where we can have multiple farms and all sorts of really cool things. Specifically, the reason I want to do that is for different biomes. Or something different. And the biome that we are in now, and the luck we've had with that cave system, is absolutely incredible. I mean, we have... I'm just going to sleep out under the stars today. We have found that... No, oh, yes. Uh, the diamonds, we've also found... Well, we find diamonds anyway. We found the zombie spawner and the... Uh, oh, we found the zombie spawner also the mine shark, which can actually give us a very cool double farm as well. So yeah, uh, this is definitely an area I would want to stick around in probably for quite a while. But once we're a bit later on, we can try setting off in a different place. To oh boy, that's the biome I was secretly looking for this entire time. If there was any biome I wanted to find other than like an amazing one, like the Ice Spikes biome, that was it. Uh, now you may be thinking, what is that? That just looks like every other biome we've found so far. Well, it's quite similar. It's called a Dark Forest. It was previously called, to update Aquatic 1.13, it was called the Roofed Forest. I kind of like that more. I can sound more mystical and less evil. It's a very, it can be quite a dangerous biome as it has quite the uh, roofed canopy, it's the roofed forest above it, but it also has this new tree type, and this new tree type is the dark oak tree type, so, and this is a very fancy looking block, and definitely something I would love to use when we make our beautiful starter house. What we want to do is take some of this wood, definitely, and we're also going to want some saplings, so we're to grow it back at our base for the dark forest. It can be a little bit confusing, at least for me, that it's called a dark oak and also a dark forest. I sometimes call dark oak forest because, yeah. But that's, 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 So I've got over half a stack, that's pretty good, but I'd like to have a lot of it because, yeah, it's a really beautiful block. And right now, if I was to look at the yeah, AC, uh, that's spruce planks. So I was like, hey, that isn't very dark, but yeah, it's very dark kind of elegant, fancy block. Now, dark oak, dark oak trees are very interesting because uh, unlike every other sapling we've had so far, the, you need actually need four of these saplings to create even one tree. Like with the giant spruce trees, you, you if you get four of them and arrange them in a square, then you can get a giant one. But with this, they only have the giant variant, basically. I think we've ever talked about snow before. So snow... Whoops, whoa. Snow is, well, it's very similar to real life snow. It, it falls from the sky and it naturally generates on cold biomes and also the peaks of mountains. So yeah, cold frozen biomes and also the peaks of mountains. 
Oh, did I ever explain why it's bad? I said they had a roof, but I never explained why having a roof is dangerous. Uh, because it can sometimes be dark enough for monsters to appear in the daytime. And if any monsters appeared in the nighttime, they can be sheltered from the sunlight, which will burn them up. Like with undead mobs, yeah. So it's almost as bad as being in a cave, really. It can be sometimes. There's also a jungle biome, which is very similar. So I want to get up this mountain. Yes, we're becoming mountain climbers today, puppies. Mountain climbers. found a new structure right over there. That structure is called a shipwreck. Yep, all very piratey. It was added in 1.13 and it is meant to resemble a massive boat, a way better boat than our boat. This boat is simple, this is, only like, this is an entity, but this boat is like a really old pirate ship boat. We can have some people and if we get really lucky, we have bamboo in it in its blue chest that would be made to come sea glass. Uh, I made rare as a recent update so this is actually quite a cool find. And this one's made of spruce wood and dark wood which is very useful considering it's it would make sense considering it's next to this. So yeah it's usually submerged. Sometimes you can find them completely submerged and upside down in water. Sometimes you can find them partially on the shore. This is like completely Hit the ground. I can see why the ship was wrecked. Look at this. It's like half up on the ground. That's a really bad parking lot. I just realized we did not bring any more iron to get a new shovel. Lots of trapdoors, lots of things. Jigsaw. Also, you can use this door to get out of the area. Uh, now, it's a glitch with uh, shipwrecks, which is really sad, and that sometimes. Yeah, sometimes shipwrecks can generate like more than one different type of shipwreck in one spot. Yeah, they're really weird. They, they can be a bit glitchy, so we might not find any pool. Ooh, maybe we will! To here then. Oh, carrots! I don't think we had carrots. Carrots, that's amazing. On flesh. Some paper things. and oh, uh, yeah, we just leave that there. But we've never had carrots before, now we have carrots, that's awesome. <laughs> this is this is interesting, but much more exploration to come in future episodes. Ah, uh, ha ha, no, 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 stop, 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 all of you. Uh, I a forest? What? Well, we're a long way off from us. <laughs> anyway, I have to say, we're just going to end the episode here. We'll find it back. Okay. So, if you have, I already said that. If you have, future me will answer questions. So that's going to be it for Barn Building Ninja. Let me get back off camera and. <coughs> yep, next exploration, exploration trip should be a whole lot. Blah, 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 blah. I can't get my words out. Next exploration trip should be a whole lot less boring. <laughs> anyway, I guess I shall. I'll see you soon, puppies.